Now you've got your family back home. Your sister is uh, is watching the live webcast, and so is your sister's dog, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the first time back for you, and it's been a while now. I think about 18 months since you played in the pros. I know you did some master play and won the 35s, but uh, how does the knee feel? Looks like you're a little tender out there. Uh, the knee's fine. I've never had any problems with my knee. The uh, surgery was awesome. Uh, I think I was working out seven days later. So no issues there, none at all. You know, maybe a little fatigue and... You know, I don't want to play Luce's game. I'd rather play my game. Right. I, you know, I noticed that a couple times. Now, you're not really diving, but you did have to hit the floor. But getting up in the middle of the rally, it wasn't that old spring back up. Is that because you're just you're thinking about the knee? or No, I'm just older. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you know, back home, I'm not diving much. Uh, my dad told me from day one, you know, make sure you uh, come back easy. Don't try to go in there and think you're uh, 25. And uh, the doctor said the same thing. So, you know, two wise men, so why not uh, pay attention? Yeah, that's what I yeah. always say. Uh, but I don't. <laughs> okay, so returning back to Jake Plummer, you won in the inaugural year against uh, a very hot Alan Garner. And y you like these courts. The, the walls are concrete. That's mm -hmm. what you're used to playing with down uh, back home. Yeah. Uh, what do you like about the facility and, and also the hospitality from Jake Plummer and his family? You know, you come here and you expect, uh, you know, Jake Plummer to play in the NFL. None of us have gotten even close to that. And uh, you, you would expect uh, Jake to be kind of sitting back, you know, just uh, shaking hands, kissing babies. But uh, he's not. Jake's running the men's locker room, telling uh, Fred Chapman he's got to be on court one. He's up. Uh, he's looking for referees. He's uh, carrying water. He's uh, getting the Gatorade. He's getting the food. And at the same time, he's shaking hands and kissing babies. And it reminds me exactly how my mom and dad ran their tournament. My dad didn't sit down. Actually, my mom never sat down. My dad actually did sit down, but uh, um, they remind me so much of my parents. And coming here, you just feel like you're your family and uh, you're not really away from home, so it's kind of easy to play well here. And that, that just kind of brings up that point about being humble, and Jake is certainly humble, and it's odd because you think that he'd be self-pretentious and yeah. snobby, but his humbleness makes you feel more humble. Oh, yeah. And isn't it, it's kind of like, hey, I'm in a relaxed atmosphere, I'm playing in a competition, yeah. but being relaxed helps Nadi Alvarado and some of the other players. Yeah, it, uh, you know, we want to put on a good show, but at the same time, uh, you know, the entire Plumber family, it's, uh, it's, you, can't, uh, you can't place it. It's just unbelievable how they treat everybody. Now, you and I have traveled around, and we've, uh, we've you know, been to a lot of tournaments together. We've uh, t had a lot of talks about handball, and uh, we've played in every, virtually every single town around the United States. <laughs> and, you know, what is it, what, what's so special about Idaho and the guys up here? Because, you know... No, you know, putting all the BS aside, yeah. uh, this really is a special place. I, I don't, I haven't been able to put my finger on it. But what, what do you? Yeah, you know what? When we first came out of Sandpoint, uh, you know, from the minute we walked in that door, they were naughty. Let's go play golf. Get your stuff. We got to go right now. A tornado came in and the lights <laughs> went out, and they didn't mind. They just went out and they got a cooler and started serving beer until the lights came back on. And uh, they've given us, you know, they've given us their homes, uh, their cars. And these aren't just, you know, uh, easy things that they get. These are beautiful cabins and, you know, uh, resort town areas. And it's just, Idaho, the guys are just too friendly and it's uh, scary. You know, it's a little, I wonder why they're so friendly. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't stayed long enough <laughs> yeah. to find out. Yeah, we run from them as soon as it gets dark. So maybe that's a good thing. Sunday comes, we hit the yeah, first flight. Get out of here. <laughs> but before that, they're the greatest people ever. I mean, uh, it's almost, you know, one of those things that if, you, you think about the hotbeds of handball. You say Chicago, yeah. New York, uh, maybe Tucson, Tucson yeah. uh, Southern California, and then you then you think, well, you never would think of Idaho, no. but certainly it's one of those places that when you retire, you go, you know what? I kind of want to buy a cabin yeah. up there because I want to hang around with uh, with Bruce and yeah. uh, and the plumbers and uh, Slavin and yeah. those guys that are just so fun to be with. Yeah, and you know, it's funny you say that because we, we spent a week in Oceanside this past summer and I, uh, I got here uh, Friday night. I told my dad we have to come and spend our uh, July seven days away from home here. And uh, it's just, it's too beautiful. You know, it's, uh, the summertime here is unreal. And uh, the guys here playing a little bit of handball, they're just, you know, it'd be a great time for everybody. Now, uh, I'll let you go because I know you yeah. have a uh, post match warm down yeah. is what I like to call it. That's right. Dave Chapman just defeated Dave Fink. You're going to play him in the finals. Who's that? Uh, I, I don't know. His name is, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Chop? Ch Chop. Mom? No, I, I've never I've heard been of gone it. so long. I don't it's, know what's going on. It's been on. a while. Yeah. You guys have been doubles partners. You've been rivals on the court. Uh, Dave Chapman has this game. You have your game. Mm -hmm. uh, but the last couple times you played him, yeah. 
uh, he was making a comeback, and uh, it's three times actually. You always the last get that three wrong. times, thank you. You've, you've defeated Dave Chapman three times in a row, and that was from 2008 to 2009. Uh, you know, are you, you you think it's just completely a different set of rules now because he's now been playing a little bit more? Oh yeah, you know, he's essentially did what I was I'm doing now. You know, he he's already gone through that uh, learning phase. He's got to go all through again, but. Uh, you know, he's been playing well, he's been winning a lot of tournaments, and uh, he's beating the young guys still, and uh, so you have to be aware of what's going on. And I've played him enough, and it's not going to be anything new or different, uh, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, well, we're going to let you do your Thanks, thing. Thanks, David. Good job today. All right, we'll All talk right. to you later.